Hey again everybody, Dr. Bolin here with our microbiology shorts. This is just a condensation of our uh, shorts that we go over in our larger videos uh, talking about microorganisms. Um, I just want to invite you to come watch our larger videos if you want a more in-depth explanation of the topic. Uh, feel free to subscribe, uh, hit the subscribe button uh, below uh, or donate to my Patreon if you like these videos. So let's get started. Our story takes place at an Army basic training camp. Not only any Army basic training camp, but the Israeli Army basic training camp. And it's in Israel because the major species of Actinomyces is Actinomyces israelii. And look who's coming. It is our boot camp cadets. And notice that they've got masks on. And why do they have masks? Not just for the COVID pandemic, but because masks are a recurring symbol for anaerobic bacteria. And notice in the background, we have branching trees amidst this nice purple sky. And that will help you remember that these are gram-positive branching filaments. Purple being our recurring symbol in our scenes for gram-positive and these trees for branching filaments. Now they don't have, unlike the trees at Oz, they don't have oranges, acidic oranges. And that's because Actinomyces is not acid fast, so it will not stain on Zeal Nielsen. Notice that the entrance to the training camp is a big sign saying, no cats, no cats allowed. I guess some people might want to take their cats with them to basic training, but that's not allowed here. No cats for catalase negative. And for that matter, it's also urease negative. And catalase negative and urease negative contrast actinomyces to nocardia, which are catalase positive and urease positive. Notice also this nice welcoming draining stream uh, coming from the basic training camp, and that's to remind you that actinomyces infections often cause draining sinus tracts. Oh no! This must be why they're training. Because there are meteors coming towards Earth, causing an existential threat. And these meteors are made out of sulfur, and they're yellow. And that helps you remember that actinomyces is characterized by yellow sulfur granules coming out of those purulent abscesses. Notice here we also have a woman soldier, and the woman soldier will help you remember that pelvic inflammatory disease is another manifestation of actinomycosis, usually in conjunction with the use of an IUD. And notice our drill sergeant here, he's really happy. He's got this big open mouth and his jaw is very prevalent. And that's to remind you that the major manifestation of actinomyces infection is cervical facial abscesses, the lumpy jaw. Generally in people who are immunocompromised or who have really bad dental hygiene. And how is he guiding our cadets to where they're supposed to go? Well, he's got this big stick, and it's our purple penicillin pencil. And that will help you remember that the treatment for actinomyces infection is penicillin, or something similar, like ampicillin, as well as drainage of any abscess that is present. 